Well, uh, thank you for uh, the floor here, um, Matt. Um, I'm going to talk about the mixed reality guided path planning with robotically generated digital twin uh, in this presentation. What you see in the screen is an engine block we're actually working on with a manufacturer, uh, Stellantis, uh, old FCA. And then also we're working with Swari, uh, um, Matt's group uh, on the call to um, develop this technology. I wanted to recognize uh, some contributors here, um, Josh and Levi from Matt's team who's on the call uh, and Lou from Microsoft and Steve from uh, Solentis uh, have been a very big help in developing this technology with us. So the objective is to make the robot programming and digital twin generation effective and user friendly using mixed reality and apply this technology to quality inspection. And we hope uh, over time, this uh, application can go over beyond uh, into the realm of, I would say, maintenances, operations, or even training and et cetera. But uh, in the near term, what we are targeting is for a dimensional quality inspection. The summary of the project is basically, uh, we are using uh, mixed reality HoloLens 2 uh, user interface to generate uh, sort of a connectivity between the digital space and the real space. And then we are simulating the motion planning and then scanning process. And here's where the ROS tools are used. Uh, and finally, oh, sorry, use the, here's the use whole lens to generate scan tool path trajectory and simulate the motion planning. Finally, uh, resulting in 3D scan data for inspection. So this will be executing the simulation data in real life and the robot will be actually performing it. So I'll show you uh, kind of the process we're taking. So we started with uh, more of a raw space than a computer a PC based simulation uh, and interface that you will see on the screen. Uh, but the concept was to, okay, so if you were to have a whole lens here, generate a bounding box, that encompasses the part or uh, multiple bounding boxes like this that could encompass the parts better. And after doing that, this box will be generated and the box will be manipulated to uh, encompass the part, which will result in uh, scan locations or scan path where the robot has to go. Uh, the concept of the scanning or the scan path uh, may differ across what type of sensors we use. We typically use either laser uh, line, multi-laser line or structure light sensors. So some of them may be taking images or scans in static location. The others may be collecting data in motion. So uh, the complexity of the uh, motion plan may arise uh, uh, as we move into certain sensors or we start combining multiple sensor fusions and et cetera. But in this particular case, we're uh, showcasing a line laser scanning. So once this process is done, the tool path will be generated. And so here's the, um, oh, second. and then the, um, next one would be to basically perform simulated motion planning, which is basically allowing the user to perform uh, the simulation and understand how the robot is going to move and capture the intended data and before uh, the performance actually happens and potentially cause problems. And the intent of all this study is really to sort of enable uh, the uh, an operator with limited training to be able to perform such a complex inspection task. So this process of simulation and visualization would help them understand uh, the outcome of the planning. Okay, so once the motion plan is complete, we move into uh, simulation of 3D scan. And right now you're only seeing sort of the dummy version of it. Um, uh, 
uh, some things that we're actually uh, uh, thinking about uh, right now as we're integrating our visualization into the HoloLens is that the amount of data we collect or the amount of data we can simulate can be very high resolution. So uh, how much of can we uh, upload it to uh, visualize without losing the performance is a big topic here. So uh, we will have uh, more outcome, more results as we test them more and try in real applications. So this is a quick video of a process uh, that we're taking. So this is the uh, simulation process to execution. And the resulting output will be the comparison of the scan data to the CAD or a benchmark part for inspection. Okay, so now this is um, sort of a state uh, where we are in, in terms of uh, integrating the HoloLens 2 user experience to our process of inspection and uh, human operations of the bounding box setups and trajectory setup. Uh, you don't see a bounding box there right now, um, but that is basically serving as uh, this uh, circle or sphere that you see is um, you can imagine that as something that is uh, right within a box that would uh, the, the robot trajectory or scan path would be displayed on. You're manipulating the size and orientation and location of this bounding sphere right now. And as you can see, there's a um, imperfect anchoring there. We're still researching the anchoring perspective uh, where the, how do we align the system perfectly to the real system, to virtual. This is where you're setting up the parameters for the motion plans. We're seeing some significant slowdown uh, to increase the amount of coverage and uh, the details. So we're just setting it up to be a level where it's not really boring for the um, this demonstration. This is slider bar experience. And we're currently re uh, limiting the uh, sort of the trajectory into the raster motion. So it's a uh, like um, ellipsoid based motion. And our plan is to move towards a more complex type of um, uh, motion plans. And this is the process of calculation. I wish this was faster, but hopefully that'll get better with the technology itself and we can also accelerate that with the improved approaches. Now you're seeing the trajectory being simulated.
So basically, once this um, planning is complete, uh, we are basically outputting uh, the results uh, into a executable format where a physical uh, robotic security scanning system can perform uh, this particular motions and also capture the data. So there is a, a concept about uh, not only controlling the robot, but also controlling the uh, scanner and the controlling the turntable and etc. So it'll be basically handing off the information uh, to the system itself. Alrighty, so uh, that's it for uh, my presentation, and I'm happy to answer any questions you may have. Thanks, Mingu. Uh, it's looking really cool. Uh, any questions for Mingu? So Mingu, that is uh, Ross too, correct? Yes, it is. Um, well, quite a bit of learning experience, but yeah, we've been uh, Actually, uh, some of our um, internal tools are ROS1, so we've been using ROS2 for the HoloLens and then ROS1 for some of our uh, motion planning, and uh, it has been a pretty good, actually, transition even between the two, and uh, we're learning uh, benefits of ROS2 as we use them, so very exciting. No, that's really neat. 